What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Got a little bit of gaming news for you guys today, but you guys sit back and watch me take out this whole team by myself. It's pretty fun playing this game. Resident Evil fans, if you're a Resident Evil fan, this is really good news for you, and it's good news for me, and it's good news for people who are getting sick and tired of the direction that Resident Evil has been going lately. Resident Evil 1 is getting a remastered edition for the PS4, Xbox One, PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. Due out in 2015, the title will be available via digital download only, and is based on the 2002 GameCube remake. So, the GameCube version of Resident Evil was, to me, the definitive version. It was very good, incredibly scary, had a lot of differences, like Crimson Head Zombies. It was just a really great game, and uh, to actually have this coming out remade for the next gen is going to be awesome. 1080p visuals will be standard for PC, PS4, and Xbox One, while the older consoles will get a 720p. All versions will have 5.1 surround sound support. You can either choose to play the game in its original 4.3 ratio, or you can bump it up to 16.9 widescreen. Other changes include various control options, though the original scheme will be present, and a scrolling camera that appears to move away from the original's fixed angles in preference of a more dynamic approach. So, you can change the, 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 the controls, I'm all in there. But the thing is, if you change the controls, it will be awkward because the, the, the game does have usually fixed cameras. So this camera that moves around, if it actually moves and allows you to play the game with a different control scheme, that'll be great. Um, Resident Evil, the remake for the GameCube, for me, was the definitive game. Uh, it had so much more to it. It had the same great story as the original, upgraded graphics, it had Crimson Heads, which were zombies that you actually had to, uh, if you didn't kill a zombie by decapitating it or shooting its head off the first time, it could resurrect and come back as a more lethal, insane, and crazy zombie called a Crimson Head. They were red with blood, and uh, it was real, <laughs> it was very stressful playing and, and beating that game. Uh, I think this is great news. I want to see Resident Evil 2 remade for the next gen. If they can remake that, I'm all in take my money now. Resident Evil 2 was my favorite fixed camera. Resident Evil followed closely by, closely by Code Veronica. My favorite third person Resident Evil is by far Resident Evil 4 followed by 5 and then 6 which they were, were all pretty bad after 4 but definitely if they get an opportunity to make Resident Evil 2 for the PS4 um, I think that that'll be a real humdinger for people who are excited about the Resident Evil, well at least the old franchise. You guys let me know in the comment section what is your favorite Resident Evil game and if you'll be picking this one up when it drops to retail. I'm the BC Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.